Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Marshawn Alonio here, your favorite relationship strategist. And I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift them to feeling heard, understood, and appreciated. Now, ladies, we have something special for you today. We have a special guest here with us, Miss Rylan Boykins. And we are here, or I should say she is coming to speak about stop options today. And I think that it's very important for us as ladies to talk about these topics specifically with finance because we need to be able to support ourselves if need be, right? And then also just if you want to learn to do this and then share this with your partner or your husband, then you definitely can um, have a wealthier lifestyle together and or if you're not in a relationship, then you can always do these things on your own. However, we wanted to bring Miss Rylan here to share some of her um, knowledge with us today and her expertise because Rylan is in the beginning stages of really getting really, really great about her stock options trading. And a lot of times we do not see people in the beginning processes. We usually see the gurus or the financial experts when they're years or decades into their actual career path. And so I wanted to bring Miss Rylan here so she can talk about her journey as far as it being in the beginning. And if she's able to do it, you're able to do it as well. So we're going to go ahead. When I say we, I mean me. I'm going to go ahead and introduce Miss Rylan and then we're going to bring her on. So with that being said, as an entrepreneur. Rylan Boykins became an avid options trader and long-term investor at the beginning of COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. She, was, she saw a social media post about buying income that resonated so much so that it led her into a rabbit hole of investing and trading. Not having any experience in the stock market, she was head over heels with the stock market. A few weeks later, Learning what trading was, she took a portion of her income tax money and jumped headfirst into learning and trading options. Within her first four weeks of trading, she turned $750 into $10,000. Guess what, though? <laughs> she lost it all in the following week. It was at this point that Ryland found something she loved and found beneficial to her overall financial makeup. She spent the rest of 2020 studying and practicing her trading methods. In the process, she created Dream Farmers Options Trading Journal to help beginners like yourself manage their emotions by planning their trades. She is currently trading one to two times per week and successfully working on her next set of tools to help beginner traders. Let's go ahead and put our hands together. I know we can't see you for Miss Rylan Boykins. Hello, 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 beautiful. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank so how are you feeling me. today? I'm good. I, you know, it's, I'm, it is the weekend right now. So, you know, usually as a trader, you're kind of like, oh, I can't wait until Monday. <laughs> oh, so, so you still on edge. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, just kind of waiting. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to get go ahead and jump into this? Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect. So, how did you get into trading stock options? I know you. I know I just read kind of your background, but go a little bit deeper. Let us know what made you say I'm going to take that jump. I, it really started with that social media post. I was um, going through my own personal issues with uh, my ex husband and. Um, you know, just was just kind of like going through social media, just really not feeling motivated to do anything. So when I came across this post, it said um, in layman's term that this guy, he had bought some income. I'm like, buy income? How do you, how do you do that? Like what? I've never heard that before. Mm -hmm. And I've been an entrepreneur for a very long time and, and, you know, read a lot of different books and just a hoard of information. So to hear that was kind of like mind blowing. And so I re I figured out who was the person that actually posted it. And I kind of did some research and I saw that he was posting some of his own things with his um, with his brokerage account as far as options trading. But I didn't mm -hmm. know at the time what that was or what that looked like. I just saw that big old number. I was like, well, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> okay. So, share, wait, share with us. What was the number? What was the number? Yeah, share the number. Um, at the time, he had 
he had two accounts and at the time there one was like at 300,000 and one was at 100,000 and um he had just posted um in addition to that it was kind of like a bunch of photos um that he had made like 20,000 that day and I was just kind of like 20,000 that day of trading, right? Because usually, you know, as an entrepreneur, you think like, well, how, how many products or services do I need to sell to make $20,000 a day? But you're talking about doing a couple of boop, 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 boop. And then, <laughs> you know, you know how to enter a trade and get out and you got 20,000, like, okay. So that's kind of what pushed me over it. I was just like, I need to figure out what's going on with the stock market because mm-hmm. nobody told me about this. So and, and, and that boop 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 lady, she's going to break down with that boop 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 that yeah. she just did what it means. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that's very interesting. I, I like the number for sure. And I like that you, even though you didn't know what you was doing, which which is <laughs> the worst thing that you can do is just jump in because that's exactly what happened to you, is what happens to most people when they don't know what they're doing. However, yeah. You didn't stop there, which is one of the things that I want to point out because most people stop there when they lose money, especially like you said, $750 to $10,000 is a big jump. So to lose it all and keep going, right? That Mm -hmm. shows that you have the resilience, right? And the grit, Mm -hmm. the know-how, which is why you said that you continue to read and learn and study the craft, which is the best thing that you could have done, right? Taking in the information. So, okay. So let's now, now let's break down what an option actually is for our people out there listening. What is an option? So um, a stock option is actually, uh, it's a derivative. So on the stock market, you have all these different assets and securities that you can trade like a, a equity stock or a mutual fund or a bond or um, an EFT, which is an electronic, um, or sorry, um, an EFT is is like a, a, a real estate. No, sorry. <laughs> Why can't I remember? I'm going blank right now. Um, but it's just a different type of um, portfolio, if you will, that you could buy into that has multiple different um, equities within it. Um, so the indexes, you can buy into indexes. So a stock option is a derivative of those things. Um, and it moves based off of um, that, that asset. So if I buy a stock, um, a stock option um, under Disney, um, based off of Disney's performance will depend on the stock options performance. And, um, and so when I say derivative, when the options world is really, we're trading contracts and the contracts is having the right to buy or to sell um, a contract. A, a contract has 100 shares within one contract. So mm-hmm. if you can understand and break down, like, okay, this is how contracts work. And this is, you know, because it's, it's like this in other industries too. Um, so you're, we're basically trading contracts. <laughs> that's what it do. That's what an option is, is a contract. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> And as you just mentioned, you said one contract is 100 shares, correct? Yes, one, one contract is 100 shares. And, um, and then there's different, um, different um, I guess, vehicles to be able to sell the contract because you can actually purchase a contract to sell it or you can um, purchase, uh, purchase the contract to buy it. Um, so that's when you get, it gets really advanced and gets, it can get really confusing. Um, and for me, that was something that um, I had to really learn because I lucked up and made a bunch of money, but I didn't really quite understand the basics of what an actual contract, like I didn't know that it was a contract, like I hear it's a derivative, blah, 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 all these different terms, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't really sink in until you actually put in the work and and really understand it, because it's, this is why I don't train it. (laughs) I'll create the tools, but I don't train it because it's so, it's so advanced. But yeah, if you look at it as it's just a contract with, and the contract holds a hundred shares and there's different things that I can do with this contract in the trading terms. And then I, all I need to do is understand the trading terms. I'll be okay. So that's what an option is. It's a contract. Okay, perfect. So when traders are looking to understand, um, the, 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 the charts themselves, Mm -hmm. so which one is better for traders? If, if there is a better or worse, um, fundamentals or technicals? Um, actually, both of them are super important. Um, when in the trading world or in the investment world, when you look at, um, you know, hedge funds doing these type of trades, 
Mm-hmm. Um, they're really doing it to kind of uh, manage the risk of their long-term portfolio. So um, a lot of traders um, by default already have a long-term portfolio. And so usually with the long-term, you're going to want to know the fundamentals um, more so than the technicals. At least that's what, you know, that's what's kind of put out there in that investment world. Um, but when it comes to trading, you need to kind of know both. Um, more so on the charting side, but you definitely need to be able to understand the fundamentals because um, if you are invested on the other side of that company, you know, why not trade under that company, right? Because you can really oh, okay. mitigate your risk. So if you know that this stock is coming down, you can trade and make money while your, while your shares are going down, while your equity is going down on this side. So um, it's important to know both. It really is. Um, and that's why it can be overwhelming for people to want to learn because they don't want to know the, you know, the fundamentals and the technicals, but both are super important. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I'm on the side of what you just mentioned. For me, it was, it was a bit too much for me to try to understand everything. And so, um, yeah, I, I didn't get into it. However, my husband does this. So, yeah, not my thing, his thing, right? <laughs> I am more of the long-term investor. So stock mm-hmm. option is not my thing. Yeah. However, speaking about husband and wives, why is it beneficial for married women to trade options? Because we know that this is a male dominated field, yes. right? So why mm-hmm. should married women jump in? Why is it beneficial for them, whether they're doing it with their spouse or not? I mean, there is so much money in the stock market, first and foremost. Hold up. Say and that <laughs> First and foremost, if there is anywhere that you want to get a bag, you want to get a bag in the stock market. Um, you honestly, you don't have to create anything. You don't have to um, sell anything. I mean, in a sense you do, but um, I mean, literally, if there's anything that you can fall back on in life, especially as women, because we know that we hold a lot on our shoulders, you know, we're raising families, we're also taking care of our husbands, we're, you know, we're managing households, and and we're probably also working too, and so, you know, skills kind of burned out based off of the resources, you know, that come with time, so eventually the things, you know, that technology is not taking over today will eventually take over, so our skills will have to change, but what doesn't change is the stock market you can always fall in the stock market. <laughs> and okay. so it's super important as a woman to, you know, find your way, find your way in the stock market, you know, utilize it, knowing how to go back to that. Because if something ever happens, God forbid, you'll be able to have a, a space to where you can say, okay, you know what, let me go ahead and, you know, flip this thousand or let me go ahead and, you know, invest this over here. Cause you know, that you can, you know, that your skills, if you rely on your ability to be able to understand you know, your way of utilizing the stock market. Oh my gosh, you're, you're going to be unstoppable and it's going to help your family. It's going to, it's going to boost everything. So I just highly encourage, um, especially married women to be able to, you know, do something in the stock market. It doesn't matter if you're trading options, you can be trading currency or um, you can do other things, other things that are in there is just find your footing. Options was for me, that's my footing. I know that for the rest of my life, I will not know how to trade options. Like I could be on my deathbed and probably recognize a chart. <laughs> okay. okay. So, <laughs> you know, like, oh yeah, that's a bullish. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so and so important. okay, so do you think that this is something that can help to break generational curses as well? Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of the times we build businesses that are that our children don't want to take on. Mm-hmm. You know, like I look at, you know, even with my dad, he has a, um, a pastry company called Beignet Belly. And I think about it all the time. Like if something ever happened to them, is this something that I could can manage on my own? And if I did, what would I do with it? Because this is not my area of expertise. I don't do pastries, you know what I'm saying? But it's a family business. And so, you know, we have to understand that <clears throat> even if we don't have a business, maybe we don't want a business. This is something that we can pass down. We can pass down teaching our children how to really build wealth for them, you know, because for my child, he has an account. So I'm able to trade under his account as well and build his wealth. So by the time he's 18, I want him to be able to know, you know, Mm -hmm. these are the skills that you really need. That's going to take you through life. And everything else is really extra. It's really about, you know, does it make you feel good to be able to do this for people or whatever have you, but 
you know for sure that you have access to income, which is the stock market. So, okay. Perfect. I, I love that answer. Now let's move over to the husbands. Okay. So what if you are mentioning this to, you, you know, your husband, right? Or if the woman out there that's listening to this, mentioning this to her husband and he's not on board, whether, um, you know, she's doing it by herself, he's not on board or he's already in it, but he still doesn't want her in it. Like what is the dynamic there? What would you tell, you know, what advice would you pass along to her? I think communication is big, um, you know, in any case, you know, especially mm -hmm. when there's some type of disagreement, but um, there can be some type of agreement, you know, on your guys' terms. You just got to figure out how, you know, maybe maybe there's a disagreement about using the, the, the money, right? So you have, maybe you have to figure out, you know, how can I make some extra money just to be able to fund my trading? Because um, it does, you, it takes money to be able to make money. So you do have to keep that in mind. Um, but communication is always going to be your biggest bet. Um, but for me, what happened, how, how I have been learning from my own experience um, is that my ex-husband didn't support it. And it wasn't that he was, you know, intentionally like, oh, I don't want you to do this. It was the behavior and the actions of, you know, uh, not allowing me the space or um, being understanding while I was trading. And it was costing me funds too. And so um, it is important to be able to, you know, have that respect regardless if there is a disagreement mm -hmm. um, and definitely communicate, you know, make sure that you guys are communicating. There is an understanding. It's okay to be able to disagree, agree to disagree, um, but be respectful. And then once it, once it's not respectful, then that's something that you have to address on yourself. Mm -hmm. And so with your ex-husband, do you think, do you feel that it was more so um, um, him not respecting? I I'm sorry, that's not the question. The question is, as far as your ex-husband, you mentioned about um, like concentration. So do you do you need concentration in order to um, do stock options? Um, you definitely need um, some space to be able to, you know, execute um, because. So, so what does that mean? What does that so mean? Trading is all about um, finding an entry point and finding an exit point. You're finding a way to get into the stock market through a contract or a trade or whatever. And then you're finding your way to get back out. Um, and so it's during those times where you're, you're charting, you're trying to figure out a way to get in that can, you know, require some concentration or some quiet time, if you will. And usually um, I, I can trade in the bed with my phone, right? Cause they make it so easy for you to be able to do that. I have all of my tools, tools on my phone. Um, but sometimes I do have to get to a computer or sometimes I just need, you know, my toddler to just kind of sit down and chill somewhere <laughs> just so I can, you know, look at this map real quick so I can, you know, do this entry. Um, I don't like to put my things on automation when it comes to trading. So I like to manually go in there. So yes, you okay. definitely need to, you know, dedicate just a small space of time. It's going to be like, you're going to have to end up spending a lot of time and then eventually as you get better then you can start minimizing the time that you do spend um to be able to enter and execute because in the beginning it's all about just trying to figure it out you know i need to be i need to repeatedly look at it so all day every day that's all i do is look at charts look at this look at that mm -hmm. and then now i don't need to look at it that much i can look and recognize and like oh okay boom let me do this real quick and then 10 minutes i don't have to do anything <laughs> for the rest of the day i'm good Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm sure the audience is out there wondering, did you ever recover that ten thousand dollars? I know not the exact amount, right? But oh, did you yeah. ever recover? Okay. Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I definitely recovered. I, um, you know, I'm a single mother now, so um, I've been living off of that. <laughs> In addition oh, to okay. you know, you know, other benefits that I'm. Thank you for California. Um, you know, so I just been really been, been smart about you know about the money now. I'm getting it in smaller chunks. It's more consistent, and um, I'm treating it as an income. So um, I just was like, I'm going to create my own you know stimulus check, and then on top of that, it's going to be like it's going to be better than, you know, <laughs> what, what the government is giving me. So that's how I treat it. It's like every month I got my own stimulus check. <laughs> oh, I love it. that. Yeah, I love that. I love, hope, hopefully you ladies are paying attention, right? <laughs> she got her own stimulus check monthly. Okay. She ain't just waiting on that government. Okay. Okay. So this is my final question before we wrap it up. So what is the question people should be asking you, but 
they usually either don't because they don't know what the question is that they should be asking or because maybe they're a little too shy, i.e. scared to ask the question. I think one of the, um, one of the biggest questions that I wish that somebody would ask me was, um, how, how can I approach learning options trading without getting overwhelmed? Because um, mind you, anybody who gets into options trading, most of the time does it like, especially in my age group and my generation, we don't know too much about the stock market. We just know 401k <laughs> or we might know or recognize IRA. <laughs> um, and so um, it could be very overwhelming anytime that you get into the, to the market. And a lot of times there's a pressure of feeling like we have to learn everything all at once. Oh, I got to learn all of this. Oh, I got to learn this method. Mm. But the reality is, is that the stock, the stock market is designed for you to have your own method. And if you don't know yourself, then it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to create a method for you to be successful in the stock market. Uh, because there's too many different indicators, too many different processes and things that you can use. So any combination can work for you. It's, it's about what is comfortable with you. I'm not a numbers person. And so mm. I learned, I, I know that I'm a patterns person. So anything that has to do with like statistics, like the Greeks and stuff like that, I don't mess with because I don't do standard deviations. I don't do decibels. I don't like none of that. No, I stick with what I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I love patterns. And so that is what has made me successful. And so I wish that somebody would have like showed me, you know, this is how you go about it. Don't just buy everybody's classes because mm. they're, all they're doing is selling you how they go about learning the stock market and how they go about using their indicators. Oh, that's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like, okay, do I want to purchase this method or do I want to purchase this method? No, you know, it's okay if you, if you really just want to see how somebody's doing it, because I've invested in several of them. But then I realized that, you know, I need to, at some point, I need to really just find my own method or yeah, that's true. Know, build, mm -hmm. build, you know, pull and pick and pull um, from other people's method and make my own, which I have done. And that's where, that's where the confidence of the trading comes in, into place. And so, I just wish that somebody would be like, hey, you know, how do you how do you do this without being so overwhelmed? Because the learning aspect, oh man, it'll take everybody out. It's like, no, I don't want to learn all that. That's too much. <laughs> and so is this where you came up with the tools that you mentioned? The tools. Yes. Okay, so tell us about yes. that. Yes. So um <clears throat> this is why I don't teach, right? I uh, I think that um, and I'm a teacher, I'm a trainer. So, but I think at some point I might create a course on teaching people how to go about learning the stock market, how to develop mm -hmm. their own process mm -hmm. um, and just kind of exposing them to different areas. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to create something for myself. Okay. Everything that I create, I create it for myself first because I need it. Like I need mm -hmm. to be reminded. So this is an options trading journal and okay. I did it for beginners because I'm a beginner. It's not too fancy. Um, but it's to help eliminate FOMO. FOMO is what you call fear of missing out, okay? And a lot of times when people are beginning in, in the beginning stages, they want to chase the trade like, oh, this is about to go up. This is where people start buying really high and then they lose all their money because it's already too high. And so this right here- This is that emotional, emotional that purchasing. emotional trading, yes. Mm -hmm. And so this was to alleviate the emotions from your trading. It's to teach you how to trade how to plan your trades effectively, okay? Mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. to trade it. So you have different sections right here that just uh, allows you the space to, you know, take notes of different trades and to, um, to kind of study first. Don't just jump into something because you're like, oh, okay, that's, you're going to lose that 10 grand like I did. You don't want to <laughs> tell me. I've been using this. I use this often, right? I, I do sometimes I still have my little whatchamacallit, but you know, I use this often um, to help me in my training because the last thing that I need, you know, at this point is to mess up my trading style by ignoring myself. I already didn't spent this much time, you know, investing in my method and, and it works. <laughs> so um, so yeah, that's that's it. You can get that on Amazon. Um Perfect. let me show you one more time. Options training journal. You can, it's available on Amazon. And um, I also have a digital version for you to be able to download. Um, and you can go to bit.ly, so B-I-T 
dot ly backslash options trading journal. Okay. Options yeah, trading enough. journal. Mm -hmm. And you will be able to find it. Okay, perfect. So um, one final thing, are there any tips that you have for the ladies, like one or two starting tips? Ooh, oh, I'm full of tips, but um, just wanted to, just wanted to, don't overwhelm. There, I would say jump right in. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a jump right in type of person. The thing about it is that you can actually, you can paper trade. You uh, Paper trading is where you're um, playing with fake money and you can mm -hmm. do it live on the market. So it's not like you have to have money right out the gate. You don't, you can literally open a TD Ameritrade account or any type of account. Um, I like TD Ameritrade because they're uh, charting and their stuff is like the bomb. Um, but you, and you can do it for free. You don't have to put a deposit in there right away, you know, and you can utilize all of their tools and you can learn for free without having to invest your money. So that's why Perfect. I jump right in because there Perfect was an tip. initial investment. The initial investment is my willingness to want to learn. And so I saw that, that, that you can make money. That was enough for me to say, I'm in. So, <laughs> you know, do your research, look, look at, look at what other people are doing and then, you know, make that decision. Once you do just jump right on in, don't, you know, make mistakes and, you know, figure out how you can learn from all that stuff, you know, just get in. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So Miss Rylan Boykins, thank you so much for coming today. So let us know, let the audience know where they can reach you if they have any questions or do you have anything for them, a freebie, just something for showing up today? Yes, absolutely. So I am, um, I know that some of you guys are, uh, you know, you, this might be your first exposure to options trading. This may not be your first exposure to options trading, but um, for those who are interested in actually getting into it, I'm actually um, giving away my um, my options trading journal book for about five dollars. This actually goes about fifteen dollars, and I'm I'm in the process of revamping it to make it a little bit more interactive. But if you get it today for five dollars, or the link through um, Marshawn's uh, access, uh, then you will be able to get the updated version as well, because you're going to have um, access for the lifetime. So um, I will be able to send those emails out once you purchase, but $5, you can get it at bit.ly backslash options trading journal. Um, Marshawn will be able to have the link uh, yes. for you guys. So yeah. Oh, and then also, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's so much going on right now. Um, I have a training and development company called Dream Farmer. So I basically help professionals, um, you know, go after their dreams, uh, go, you know, find their, their life work. Um, but I do it through um, entrepreneurial skills. I help develop entrepreneurial skills. And then I also help businesses, entrepreneurs and small business owners, as well as large corporations, um, help develop an entrepreneurial learning environment for their um, for their company or for their consumers. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can, if you want to learn more about that or any of my other books, I do have other books <laughs> uh, published. Um, you can go to dreamfarmer.org um, and you will be able to see everything there. Dreamfarmer.org. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Thank Ryan, you. for coming to share your expertise today with us here. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm sure that the audience really learned some really valuable tips, some things that they can go out there and use today, right? Go out there and take this information, jump in, like she mentioned, paper <laughs> trading. You don't necessarily have to use your money today. But if you have any more questions, anything that you want to run by us, just put it down um, um, in the in the uh, comment section or just an email at Marshawn at MarshawnOlanio.com. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it. And we will see you next time. <laughs> I